Let's move on to the next question. So in the diagram, we have A, B, E, D. So A, B, E, D is a trapezium. Okay. With the right angles at E and D. So E and D are right angles. And C, E, D is a straight line. C, E, D is a straight line. Okay, great. Now, the length of A, B and B, C are 2D and 2 root 3 d respectively so this is 2d and this is 2 root 3d now the angles here bad is 30 and this one cbe is 60 degrees respectively part one find the length of cd in terms of d so where's cd cd will be this one okay so how can you find the length of cd let's see it will have to be in terms of d obviously in this case so let's see how can we break this down. So you know you do realize that if we join these two, for example, let's call this uh, x, we can see clearly that bx is the same as ed. Right. Now cd can be broken down into two pieces, right? It could be. Could be first is c plus ed. So let me write this down. The length of CD, we can find this in two P's. That will be C plus ED. We can first find this one and then add this one to find the length of CD in terms of, of D. So let's first find this one. So let's see what can we do. So here we have a right angle triangle, right? Because this is a vertical line and we know this is at 90 degrees. Now, when we have a right angle triangle, we can use so to find the sides of the triangle. So let's see. Here we have the hypotenuse, right? And we're trying to find this side. This is the opposite side. So hypotenuse, opposite side, we have to use sine of the angle is equal to opposite side, C, over the hypotenuse, 2 root 3. Now we know this is what? Sine 60 should be what? It is root 3 divide by 2 CE equal to 2 root 3 now this and this will cancel out cross multiply you will have 3 is equal to C so this here will be the value of 3 now we have to find this one ED so to find ED same step we can first find BX BX is the same as ED so we can find this one first so again this will be 90 here and we have a right angle triangle. We know the hypotenuse, we're trying to find the opposite side, we have to use sine, because according to Sokatoa, right, if you observe, we know the hypotenuse, that will be H and H, we're trying to find the opposite side, that will be O and O, it will be this one. So again, sine of the angle, 30, that will be BX over the value of 2D. Now we realize that sine 30 is half, right? If you can check, sine 30 is half. That will be bx over 2d. This and this will cancel out, so bx will be the value of d. Now this will be d. So we know that bx is equal to ed, so ed will also be bd. So from this we conclude, but we can uh, conclude that so here I think I'm missing something. So here we have root d here and d here. So that will be 3d. Right, because I missed the d here. That will be this, this, and this. Okay, makes sense. So d here. So this will be ce will be 3d plus ed. That should be d. So your answer will be 40. Okay, that will be part one of the question in terms of d. Now let's move on to part two. So we have showed the angle CAD. C, where is it? C is here. C, A, D, okay, is equal to this. So let's see how can we find this. So let's join first C to A. Okay. And here we have this angle that we don't know, right? Let's call this, the, this is the angle CAD. Now, tan, obviously, we know that tan is what? It's toa, right? So toa is A here. So you have to be opposite side over A side. So let's see. 
tan of the angle, tan of the angle CAD have to be what? Opposite side it is, this side has to be 40 divided by the A side, which have to be this side. Now, we have to find those sides again. We don't know what is the value of this side. So again, AD, how can we find AD? AD will be this whole thing. Now by observation, AD is equal to what? It is equal to AX plus XD. That will be this plus this. Now for this one, how can we find this? So pretty easy, we can use uh, Socrato again. We can use the Pythagoras theorem, it is up to you. I guess I will stick to uh, Socrato because why not? So for this one, let's have observe, we have the triangle, this small one. That will be A, X, B. This is 90 and this is 30. Right, so we know this is 2D. We're trying to find this side. We have to use, we know the H side, we have to find the A side, that will be cos. Cos of 30, that have to be the A side, which is AX, over the value of 2D. Now this is equal to what? It is equal to root 3 over 2. You have to know those exact values. Unfortunately, you have to know them. So this is have to cancel out. So AX have to be root 3 D. That's the first part. Now for XD, for this one, so we realize that XD is same as B. So same as B, right? So we can find B first as well. So let's do that. So B by taking out this big triangle now. So I have this big triangle outside on top. That will be 90 here. That will be 60. That will be E and C. This is 2 root 3 D. Okay. And what else do I know? I need to find this one. So again, I will take uh, cos of the angle. That will be the A side will be B over the value of 2 root 3. Now cos of 60 is half, so B will be 2 root 3. Cancel, cancel. So of course here I'm missing the D again, so B E will have to be root 3 D. Now replace back in the main equation, so you can see the length of AD have to be AX is root 3 d plus xd that will be the value of root 3 d as well so both seems to have uh, the same value in this case so let's see what do we get so this plus this that will give you 2 root 3 d now going back to this main equation tan cad will be the opposite side over the a side that will have to be 2 root 3 d now let's simplify, this and this will cancel out, divide by 2, that should be 1, and that should be 2. So right now we have tan of CAD, that will be 2 over root 3. So CAD obviously will be tan inverse of 2 root 3. Okay, so this is, this is shown as required. I think the main idea here behind this question is using what is given to you. As you can see here, we have to show this is equal to this. Now, we can reverse this back. Now we can send this over here. We have tan CAD. Okay, so now we have to think, what is tan? Tan is the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side. So we have to go back to the triangle. Realize it will have to be this divided by, by this. So we have to find this length and this length and then replace and solve to show that CAD is equal to this. And that will be the question in relation to trigonometry again.